Meta's CTO, Andrew Bosworth and Mark Zuckerberg just said that the Meta Quest 3 is just as good. No, actually they said it's better than the Apple Vision Pro. I think we have the best headset out there. I think if you want to get a, a headset that does mixed reality, I think you should get Quest 3. Quest is better for the vast majority of things. Quest is so much better for the vast majority of things. I think the Quest is the better product, period. I want to do a simple task that I know that the Vision Pro can do, which is play media while allowing you to work simultaneously. Can a Meta Quest 3 do that? And we're going to put that to the test. Zuck and Boz are always talking about how these headsets are pretty similar. In fact, how the MetaQuest 3 is superior in all the ways that matter. You've already seen the videos on YouTube of people multitasking and watching movies and working at the same time on the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm going to try four different ways to do this on the Quest. What I wanted to do was use the NBA League Pass and watch a basketball game while trying to get work done, you know, browsing Twitter or typing something up. The way you do that on the Apple Vision Pro is you take whatever productivity app you're using pages or whatever, and you also open up your NBA app or your browser to watch the game. It's very simple, you open up two apps. Now, there are four ways to approach this on the Quest, and I just wanted to see which way worked the best. You can use Workrooms, which takes your desktop display and mirrors it in a virtual environment. Here, you can have three screens, unlike the Vision Pro, which only lets you display one screen, so that's pretty cool. When I am feeling the urge to work within VR, Workrooms is usually my default app to go to. Using multiple screens is pretty painless. I opened up a secondary tab and attempted to go to the NBA.com website. The Meta browser, as cool as it is, actually has a lot of restrictions. One of them is not being able to stream all media types. So when I opened up the NBA browser, went to League Pass, no video, nothing. Didn't matter what I did, it won't stream that video. So we can cross that off the list. You can't use the Workrooms app, mirror your desktop, and try to play anything, it doesn't work. Next, I wanted to try the remote desktop app. The remote desktop app is the one that functions closest to what you see in the Apple Vision Pro commercials. In theory, the Quest 3 should allow me to have my laptop display open, as well as secondary apps that I could look at and browse and move around. So just like the Apple Vision Pro. The next thing I tried to do was open up a secondary tab, go to the NBA website, and attempt to do the same thing. Eventually, after multiple tries, it finally started playing the NBA.com videos within the browser. You can use the browser to get sort of, kind of, a really lame version of the experience that you get on the AVP. The next option is the Immersed app. Now, Immersed is very popular among productivity users on the Quest because you have a little bit more flexibility with your windows and it creates a social environment where you can engage with other workers and get work done, almost like working in a Starbucks. But again, the stopgap here is the Meta Browser. Next on the list, and arguably what I probably should have started with first, is Xtadium. Instantly, I was able to access the NBA game. Although the jank started real early, my windows were all over the place, so I had to constantly pull in the windows and set up things where I wanted them. And it played fine until I tried to open up anything else. Apparently, you cannot open up any other app while using Xtadium. Finally, and this was saving the best for last, is Big Screen, which was a surprise. Big Screen does things that I wish was built into Meta's core functionality. Within Big Screen, you can go into any of their amazingly rendered environments, and it's one of the few apps that allows you to open up another app with any app. So watching something like YouTube or Netflix or Disney or any of the preloaded streaming applications within Big Screen, and it's awesome. You can do productivity and you can watch something while you work. I feel like I'm tapping into a MetaQuest superpower. But if you need to open up something like the NBA app, there's no browser within Big Screen. I still can't watch this NBA game and work. So what did we learn? Well, out the box, there's nothing that gives you that immediate functionality of the Apple Vision Pro. There's no way to have multiple floating screens and multiple apps open at the same time. There's nothing that does that on the Quest right now. But according to Andrew Bosworth, that's not to say Windows management and UI won't be changing dramatically in the future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something that long before um, even AVP was on the scene is something we've been looking at and spending some time on. And we have some pretty exciting designs and, and really actually reworking some of the core UI infrastructure to be able to enable um, a richer environment has been in the works for a while and, and making good progress. So the answer is yes, I don't have a timeline for you. It's not super soon, but yeah, it's on the way. And really, I hope he's right. 
I hope what he's saying about UI upgrades is something that's really going to happen. Because as I've said before, the MetaQuest 3 is a remarkable piece of hardware and it's one hell of a gaming machine. I'm just hoping that with software updates and with Meta's ability to quickly iterate on their software, we'll see improvements in the MetaQuest 3 that closes the gap between Apple's expensive device and Meta's attainable device a whole lot.